I'm Grace, a wife, a mommy of two. I have Whitney with seven years and Sir William with five years. I live in Germany and of course Kenya is my home. My name is Tony Carrero. I also live in Germany with my wife and uh, my two kids. And uh, I'm also from Kenya, from Mombasa is my home. Originally, of course, my family is from Moranga. So you call me Kikuyu, born in Mombasa. I went to, to Germany in a city called Frankfurt. I was working there, learning German and working at the same time. I would say au pair, that means I was taking care of uh, some two kids, taking them to kindergarten, and at the same time I was able to be able to go to school and learn the German. It was like after six months and there was a Kenyan event where I went and he was the one catering for the food. <laughs> Yes, that's how we met. Yeah, and when I saw her, I just saw her walk by and I looked at her. I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's a nice girl. Well, she was kind of quiet, yes. so I, I didn't know what to say. So I walked over to her friend and I said, who's that? She told me, oh, that's Grace. I said, I like that girl. Can you introduce me to her? Yeah, but oh, well, I already had my eyes on her really tight. Well, I don't know. I was impressed and I liked what I saw. So what should I say? Saturday it came, party started on. And I did my work, but then I think it was about 3 a.m. in the morning, that's when I walked to her. Yeah. And I won't lie to you. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> uh, I introduced myself to her, of course, then, uh, and, uh, and I asked her for her number, and unfortunately, no, I wanted to give her my number. Yeah. But I gave her the wrong number. Yeah. That's how bad it was. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But that very same night, uh, I pretended like I wanted to, because she had to leave. And I said, okay, uh, let me give her a hug. But uh, when she came close, I kissed her. That's true. <laughs> I kissed her on her lips just like that. Yeah. And she, you know, she was shocked, of course. Uh, but I was like, doesn't matter. Yeah. Either she likes it or she doesn't. Well, we'll see. And like I said, I gave her the wrong number. Fortunately, I had uh, her friend who looked just like we, her. We look alike. And I even thought it was her later yeah. on. Uh, okay, I came to find out it's not her, but uh, I, we did exchange numbers, but I didn't know they were friends. And she's the one who gave her my number a, yeah. a day later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's when she called me back. And I was so happy that she got my number. Yeah. Yeah, because I was almost upset because she didn't call me. I, I know two days later, that's when she called. Wow. How it started, of course. We got married and we decided to stay for three years until we get to know each other and get to see are we going to stay together, are we going to be able to, you know, come up with a family. But of course, families always rush, get a baby, you're married, get a baby. But we said, no, mommy, we're going to do it our way. So after three years, of course, we felt like we were ready to be parents and that's how it started. I got pregnant. We all planned it, like which day or which month, if possible. and. Actually, Whitney wanted that to be a winter baby, and she came on November 3rd. And yes, for me, everything was like, oh, everything is new. How do I take care of the baby? But luckily enough, he took care of all his sisters. So he helped me out there. He washed the baby. He did everything. I had just to, you know, settle up and know, you know, after you give birth, you kind of, your body changes, you have to breastfeed, you don't know what to do with. I didn't have no mommy like here. At least you get your mommy or auntie to help you, but there, you have to do it by yourself. And that's what, it was hard for me. Sometimes I had to, when he went to work, he, I used to call him like all the time, what should I do? And he's like, okay, I don't know how to help you, but you have to do it by yourself. And I took, I, I breastfeeded with me at least nine months. Yes, she's right. I brought up my siblings because I have uh, five siblings. Yeah. And uh, I'm second. Uh, my sister is a year older than my, myself. So, and my grandmother didn't know. I, I'm the, I was the only boy then. Mm -hmm. And uh, but my grandmother didn't know nothing about your boy or girls. I, I, was, I was in a home full of girls, that's all. But that didn't mean anything to my grandmother just because I'm a boy and I'm the only one that I, I have more privileges. No, I did not. 
Yes, it was very challenging because, you know, we were brought up all different here in Kenya. So when you grow up in Germany, there are certain kind of things that you have to do it better and try and do that like the European style. Like there's no beating and everything. So it's more of the talking. And that is what also I always wish to talk to my kid to be able to get that connection. But it's hard because you have to decide either to take them to kindergarten, which is very expensive, or you wait for them until three years and then you can take them. It's like a kindergarten, but it's not so expensive like the daycare, they call it daycare. It was quite hard because he had to decide to work longer and I stay at home. That's what we did, but it's quite hard because you have to juggle everything. You have to like, where I live, we live in a village. So you easily don't get friends, you know, to help you out with kids or you want to go for shopping. So I had to wait for him every time, six o'clock, then we go for shopping, then all those kind of things. It's really challenging. But at the end of the day, you're like, I think there's nothing easy. You have to go through it step by step and make through it, yeah. I don't see it as a challenge. I see it more as my duty, that's all. Whitney is my, yeah. my number one. Yeah, she is. Yeah, I do get emotional when I start talking about Whitney yeah. because she makes me happy. And uh, when I'm down, she's the one who comes to me and yeah. pushes me back up. Yeah, she's like my, yeah, my fuel, for the, like fuel for the car. She fills me up when I'm down. Yeah, she charges me. Yeah, she's, she's my recharger. My charger, that's what she is, yeah. I love her. I love my son, of course, yes. I'm not gonna say that, but yeah. Uh, Whitney is bright and, uh, well, we were connected mm -hmm. since, since ever. Yeah. yeah. And like uh, she mentioned, yes, I did take care of them. Um, for me, it was nothing new. Yeah. Okay. Even after she was born. Uh, you know, with all these little things that uh, babies need to be attended for Thank or to. Yeah, uh, I've been through them. I did that with my sisters. So, hey, I, like I told you before, it's, I see it as my duty and uh, not a challenge. Oh, ah, that's a good, good question. <laughs> Let me start. <laughs> so, I was in the hospital, you know, with the pain, like normal pain. And I labored at least for one and a half days. And as I was there in pain, you know, like I just want the baby to come out. I had decided for William, or we had decided for William. And he's like, you know what? Why don't we add sir? And I was in pain, I was like, I don't care. I do what you want to do. I just want to get my baby. And he, that's how he came up with. Yeah, it was, I was inside with them, with, uh, with her. At the room, And yes. uh, after she gave birth and uh, uh, the baby came. I remember Whitney. Whitney, when Whitney came, I even asked the doctors, can I take her? I wanted to take her out. Yes. They were like, no, 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 no. I said, come on, why not? Yeah. You know, because such things don't uh, don't disturb me. You know, they, they always kind of like uh, think, okay, men are going to faint. Yeah. Well, it happens quite quite yeah. a lot, yeah. But uh, with Sir William, after he came out, uh, so they, they take, as they usually take the baby check, and then they ask you, so what's the name? And like she mentioned, we decided for William. Uh, William being a warrior, yeah, yeah. as it means, and Whitney, a white island. A white island. It wasn't because of Whitney Houston. No. Because she hadn't passed mm -hmm. yet when yeah. Whitney was born. Mm -hmm. uh, because that, sometimes people are like, oh, is it because of Whitney Houston? No, 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 no. no. It was uh, after looking up, after research, yeah. I found the name Whitney. I wasn't even thinking of Whitney Houston at that time. Yeah. and. Uh, and I saw White Island, that's what it means. Ah, I was like, oh, I like that. And for Sir William, William actually uh, was a warrior. Yeah. And uh, that's why I picked that. And like uh, after he was, uh, he came, he, he saw the light and they picked him to, to you know, to check him out, uh, what they usually do, and asked me, uh, so what's the name? And uh, that's when I said, Sir William. Because I thought to myself, hey, why not Sir William? Why should a Sir be from a royal family? He is a royal family, so, yeah. so with him. And that's how it came. They are different, not so much, but Whitney is sensitive. 
she's the one like, mommy, don't think about it. Make a good day out of it. So we know it's like, let's sit down, talk about it. And today is going to be a good day. They kind of, they, because I give birth, like almost same age. So they kind of relate to each other. Whitney helps the brother and the brother want to copy the sister. How to, like, Whitney talks a lot and the brother, last year I started saying, I can speak a lot also like Whitney. So they kind of copy each other because I, I took care of them the same, almost the same. They're almost the age group, not so far. So I think like they get along together. Their character is not so much different. I don't see. Well, of course, everyone has their own yeah. character, but uh, like she mentioned, Whitney is very emotional. Yeah. yeah. And um, so quite, quite emotional. But so William, mm. He's just like me. I, I've, I've, I've made a covering of myself, a duplicate, True. seriously. Mm -hmm. When I look at him, I just see myself when I was a small one. Yeah. And Whitney uh, is me. Whitney is, yeah. No, Whitney, I think Whitney is her own. Yeah. Yeah. She's very, very emotional. Sensitive part. Yeah. But uh, a, a wonderful creation, this girl. Yeah. Like I told you, she's the one that lifts me up. So, yeah. Yeah. So, William just keeps me busy. Yeah. That's what That's what he does to me. But I enjoy both, and it's good that they're different. Daddy, yeah. what's nice inside there? There's what's inside? nothing inside there, but you can plant something if you want. I can That's put you hour. inside, and then you can grow. What? Yeah, I'll put your feet inside. <laughs> I'll pour some water on you, like uh, like a plant, and then you'll grow nice and big like a tree. No, you! Yeah, okay? No, you! <laughs> you! You! Go inside.